Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 26 of We Happy Few and as promised I'm already in the garden district and on my way to the Weird Sisters. So a lot happened the last time and I don't know I was thinking a little bit more about it and it bothers me a little bit that the conversations in the alley um, from Arthur's view and from Sally's view are so different because there was barely anything um, like it was with Arthur. The whole conversation was so different and I get it that maybe they needed to um, sprinkle in some more details that we didn't know before like that Arthur felt betrayed by Sally um, because she slept with his father. We didn't know that when we played Arthur um, until the end. So I get it that maybe they needed to make it a little bit clearer to the player that that is why Arthur is cross with Sally. And that is who Sally is referring to in our first chat, I guess, because, I don't know, she was talking about a guy with a beard. And, yeah. Oh, this house is painted, so... Oh, no, it's head boys. Thought maybe it was the witches. So, yeah. But, I don't know, it still bothers me that, that this whole conversation was so different, and... I don't know, because it couldn't have been that Sally imagined a conversation this way and Arthur heard it this way. You can't... I don't know. Talk to each other so... I don't know, you can't misunderstand this so much. Or misinterpret something. It, I don't... yeah, it's... It's bothering me. It's bothering me and it's sad because I don't know if they wanted to make clear that the guy that Sally is referring to in the first conversation with Arthur is Arthur's father then maybe they could have made it clear after that that Sally is talking to herself or something I don't know anyway what I was also thinking about just now while walking because we have a lot of time now um, is well, I wonder if the cod liver oil is really just for Sally's memory or if she needs it for something more elaborate that she can't tell Arthur I guess there is a reason there must be a another reason I don't know there must be a big reason for her just to to use Arthur like that right On the other hand, yeah, I don't know. So, that also answered my question from two episodes ago in which timeline we are on. We are in the same timeline as Arthur. So, we will see it eventually. We will talk to Arthur again and see how this conversation goes because I don't know. Who knows what, she's, what Sally will say this time. It's like we will never have heard the conversation at all before. Oh, what I know, what I really forgot now. When we go back, we really need to go to the to the access hatch. Although there should be one here too, right? This is the one with the plague wastrels in it because that means. Faraday's house must have been must be somewhere in this area too. So, and if this is where the witch's chest was with Arthur, then our old hideout should have been somewhere close too, right? So, one without fighting. Although I don't know if they get here one by one, they get to me one by one, then it's not such a big deal. I guess I could handle those, but there are a lot. There were a lot of them inside. I still don't understand why, they, why the, the hideout is full again, because, like I said before, Arthur cleared it out and, and locked the entrances. So, I don't know. Oh, 
Okay, so we're almost there. I'm really stocking up on rose petals again because although I I already have over a hundred. Is this whoa okay nice so what are those witches brewing wow even with lightning this is this looks nice tis time tis time she comes Hello? Nimue? Vivian Morgals? How do they do that? All hail, Sally Boyle, mistress of alchemy. All hail, Mistress Boyle, who knows the secret of maternity. All hail, Mistress Boyle, who seeks the other shore. I keep forgetting. You know my secret. This potion will help your daughter sleep. She won't get hungry as quickly. I don't know that I believe in magic. What else is left to believe in? The potion isn't magic. It's herbalism. Your mum knew herbs pretty well, didn't she? Yes. Especially what you can do with foxglove. In fact, ugh, I came here for some ingredients I need for some... Well, drugs. Have you tested magic and proved it wanting? Or have you simply assumed that what you don't understand can't be true? I suppose I... haven't tested it. Then do this, if you like. We place our sacrifices in a chest in the wilds. I'll put the place on your map. Put some bricks in the chest, and say this prayer. Bricks? See what comes of it, and then return. But... about my ingredients? We'll help you with what you want. But first, learn what you need. You don't even know what that is. Before the learner attains wisdom, the teacher has the right to give several tasks. Several? That's how it works, yes. All right. When will I see you three again? When you know what is unknown. Anon, anon! Oh no. Oof. I have a feeling that the chest that they marked is the magic chest that we broke open as Arthur. Really? Now we have to follow some magic quests so we learn to believe in magic? So they give us some herbs so we can do chemistry? Great. I don't even have a brick. I hope that there's one close by. So, where do I have to go anyway? Oh no, okay, this is not the same witch's chest, it's another one. Oh, okay, we're somewhere in Ty- Ah! There's a shelter marked very well. I don't know, this is like I've- It feels like I've never seen this map before, because I thought that right now we're on- the first island but we're not because this is the whole maybe the card is turned upside down or something maybe I'm just too stupid I don't know okay so first I think I'm gonna go unlock the shelter oh this is the first island there's a night blooming non such worshippers but why is then this Johnny Bolton's shop? Isn't Johnny Bolton the one in the treehouse? So many questions. Ah, this is the duck. No, 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 no. The map changed. Sort of ironic I became a chemist, considering what Mom did, if you think about it. They changed the map because this shelter was in front of the duck soup house and not the minefield house, right? 
Oh, another. Mm. Okay. And why do I have to unlock it again? Because brilliant. Now I won't need to cross all those bridges. This should be unlocked already from Arthur. But yeah, okay. I guess it makes sense that we have to activate them again as Sally because as if we need to know the places. So, now we can <laughs> climb out of there. And can go to the chest. Also, we need to change Gwen's diaper soon. So I hope that this, I don't know, isn't quest one of five for those witches. Why isn't anything ever easy? Either for Arthur or for Sally, it seems. What the hell? Oh, seems like they moved the chest. Why are these... Why are they standing guard here? Well, I guess it's time for the winning argument, because I suppose they won't go away. They shall not suffer a wish to live. Oh, it seems like they don't like witches here. Oh. Of course, they want to hear. Mustn't let the birds go thinking they can do things by themselves. I forget that I have the winning arguments. Oh no, I'm already done. <laughs> okay, well, I guess they have some pretty good arguments too. You'll feed me. You'll always be meat. Okay, I'm gonna run for it. Before I die. Okay. Oh no, you too? Now I need a bandage as well. Okay. Dude, I don't want to kill you. But you leave me no choice. What are you doing here, huh? Yeah, that's it. Oh look, you've been beaten by a girl. True. <sighs> Please tell me that you have lock fix on you. No! <gasps> yes! Oh! Whew. But now I think our next challenge will be to find a brick. Because I'm pretty sure I don't have one. I do! There we go. Okay. Five bricks. Now I just say this prayer. Goddess, lighten my burden. Give me the strength to carry what I must, so I no longer need the strength of others. Goddess, I dedicate these bricks to you. Blessed be. All right. Huh? That's it? That's strange. I do feel stronger. Maybe because I'm not carrying around a ton of bricks. I, I don't guess know. I should talk to the weird sisters again. I don't know. Will this is this pleasing the goddess so much that you give her a ton of bricks? Okay. 
Here we go again. Well then, let's hope that this is the only quest that the witches have for us. Or do we have to reach enlightenment first? Did you say the prayer? I sort of feel stronger, actually. I think I can actually carry a bit more. You can't prove it's magic, though. What if it's psychosomatic? So what if it is? You're still feeling stronger. I'd rather you taught me about herbs. I need them. For the drugs I have to make. Patience. You are close to the learning you seek. Our hinge has been occupied. The old stone circle. The wedding party stones. There's ancient power there. The sacred circle has been polluted. If you can clear it, then we'll teach you about the herbs you need. Well, that sounds sort of fun and righteous. Why not? I don't know. Didn't something tell us before that we're not a fighter? Now we have to clear some stone hinges for those witches? Is it the flower worshippers? No, I guess it's... No, is it the flower worshippers that we have to clear out? Oh, that's not fair. Although, I mean, there are night blooming nuns such as all over the field. They could just gather around one of those and pray or party or whatever. Or is it something else? No, it's something else. What's happening here? Oh, it's a memory. Oh no. Do you think it's sweet enough? Why don't you taste it? <laughs> Seriously, you won't die from just a smidge. It'll just make everything burn a little brighter, is all. Back at the house, we'll give everybody a huge cup of it. It doesn't hurt when we free our souls from their fleshy prisons, does it? I think your heart races for a bit, and then off we go to the ethereal plane. Huh? Why don't we use Hemlock? Like how Socrates killed himself. Hemlock doesn't hurt at all. My god. The brewing poison. Because we already made two big batches of ditch slacks. Can you imagine if we came back to the Reverend Father with a big bowl of hemlock now? He'd laugh at us. Might not even let us come along on the sacred journey. <laughs> I'll just keep stirring then. All our questions will be answered once we're no longer in the prison of our bodies. That's what he said, right? It's some sort of suicide cult. I'm not going to let them poison a whole bunch of people. Now I've got to get rid of this poison. Oh wait, first a memory. I didn't know where else to go. I'm sorry. Did he lock you out? You're here for Rue, I imagine. Rue? Why the hell would I need Rue? She's not- That's an abortifacient. Oh! I'm not pregnant. I, I can't be, Joy's a contraceptive. The regular kind is. Oh god. I'm such an idiot. You have a lot to think about. If you keep it... Then we'll help you as much as we can. You'll need to be very brave, dear. Much braver than if you don't. So that explains why there are no children in Wellington Wells. Because... Joy is a contraceptive. Okay. Now we know that, too. I'm just gonna take I'm not this. For you. Okay, that takes a little bit, but maybe they won't attack us. Thank you. It's only for your own good. You will thank me later. So, I wonder who these women were that helped Sally when she found out that she was pregnant. 
I hope that maybe we will meet them again. I don't know. So apparently the original Joy is a contraceptive, but I guess Blackberry that Sally produces isn't. Well, so maybe with Sally's help the town will repopulate again. In the end, if we can fend off the permanent solution. Ew. The people there, they were wearing these sigils. Oh lord, the space god people. Ransom Mackenzie's congregation in Gardner House. They were making digital acts? In small amounts, it's a drug. More than that, it's a poison. You can make it from red foxglove seeds. We make all sorts of useful potions and things out of it. You could too. I think their Reverend Father is planning for the whole lot of them to kill themselves. I can think of a lot of reasons to kill yourself in the Garden District. But no one should have their death chosen for them. You know about my mum? I remember there was a terrible accident. Your mum put the wrong herbs in the family dinner. The whole family died except you. It was just before the train, so I always wondered. It wasn't an accident, was it? I think she didn't want my sisters to be scared. All alone in Germany. So she killed them. And I guess she didn't want Dad to hate her. So she killed him too. And she couldn't live with herself. I don't know why she left me behind. Here. This is the recipe for... Digital Axe? And something more? Mix it into their poison, and it should change from poison to... Mm, let's call it an eye-opener. You'll need Digital Axe for that, among other things. Come back, and I'll have the rest of what you need. You're making a sort of herbal blackberry joy, aren't you? You know your chemistry. I was on Harry Hayworth's team when we invented Joy. One day I hope the goddess will forgive me for that. I think the story, the story of Sally's mom is really sad. Because in the end, yeah, I mean, we just heard it. She killed her two daughters who would have had to go on a train and if they if she didn't and yeah she killed her husband because she was afraid that she would hate her for it and she would hate herself for it too the rest of her life so she killed herself too i guess maybe she didn't kill sally because i don't know she wanted something better for her or maybe that she saw a chance for her so maybe that's why sally um suspects that she picked the fight with her on purpose okay so we need to craft some new chemicals which is the digital x so how do we craft this oh i need to do a, i need to be at a chemistry set so um now we can do that we can fast travel oh i need to get back home soon all off. I need to get her back home soon for, for Gwen. Hmm. So, now we can craft this. Why can't we? Oh. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um. Very nice. So going to buy some skills to calm down a bit because I'm starting to f freak out again. Oof. Okay, um, what shall we buy next? Maybe heal better is a good idea. 
we have a lot of points to spend so i guess um acquiring skill points with sally is easier because it would be super dull if we had such a slow progress as we had with arthur though i don't know we didn't have but we never had 30 skill points without i don't know stocking up i i don't know i think i just it feels like i just bought new skills Okay, I'm just gonna go with this one, and what's this? Deal double unlock for advanced drug recipes at once. All required are unique precursors only Sally can craft. Okay, I can buy this. Oh wait! I hope we have a better we have a better station, right? So we could just travel home again through the hatch because we all we also need to take care of Gwen anyway. Then we can go home. Then we can because at home we have the better the better table. So yeah, now that we have the hatch, there are, it's easier to get back, so we don't have to run all the way. Jack doesn't live down there. Um, and I need something to eat. Let's eat some bread. Okay. So, and now we have, um, we've bought the skill that people ignore our annoying habits, so we should be able to run, and it's also after curfews, so it doesn't matter as much. Oh well, that's too sad that it's after curfew, because I, I would like to know what this, um, clothing store has in stock. I don't really think that there is, um, I don't know, some new special clothes or something, some different clothes for Sally, although it would be cool. Please step away immediately. Yes. Don't make me come find you. Oh no, oops. I forgot to change. I forgot to change. So, I'm just gonna make a quick run for home. Okay, here we are. That was a lot quicker than before. So, and here we should be able to craft this one. Nice. And now, what is missing? Honey. Oh, great. Cabinets, cabinet tops and beehives. There's beehives outside, so I suppose we could go looting out there in the garden district again. Okay. First I think we're going to take care of Gwen. Why do we... Okay. So... We can fill some more canteens. Okay. I'm glad that we crafted some filters in advance. I think this was the last one, so... Okay. Okay. Oh god. Do you need a change again? I guess compared to the real world this baby needs very little changes. I mean, what is this every 2 days? Please don't tell me you've lost your appetite.
Also, I would like to point out that in the second chat with Arthur, where Sally was standing here, she said that she hadn't slept with anyone in 10 years. And look what's upstairs. This is not 10 years old. So, hmm. I don't know. Because I, at first I was a little bit suspicious that maybe it was Sally is looking for Gwen because of other reasons. But now it's pretty clear that Sally was pregnant with Gwen and that Gwen is her child. So this really doesn't add up. So she lied to Arthur. I also thought that it was very weird why she would bring that up anyway. Because Arthur didn't ask. Certainly, I don't know. I guess he didn't want to know either. Um, so, I'm a little bit, I just, I just lost my focus, I don't know what I was, what I wanted to do. Hmm, okay, so, we crafted the digital axe, which was only craftable on our workbench at home. But this other one where we need the honey for the antidote... It works. We can craft that outdoors too. So I guess we need to. We can go back to the garden district and look for a beehive. On the other hand, if I just if I go to a tree now, wouldn't I be stung by the bees all the time? Maybe it's better to rob some houses. Maybe. Or to go to the shop. Maybe I can buy some clothing there. Although it's really... I don't know. I don't actually like long walks. Isn't it funny that when you don't need something, you see it plenty, you see plenty of it and then... Oh wait, it's, it's so... It's still, in, it's still during the night, so I guess there won't be... This shop won't be open. Isn't it strange that when you need to find something, you can't find it, but then when you don't need it, you see it all the time? So, there's something... We need something to drink, so maybe I'll drink some tea. Because maybe we should save some water for Gwen. Although we should have enough metal tubes. So, then let's go to this store of Mrs. Pankhurst. So maybe she won't have fashionable clothing, but... Oh, well, that spawned here. I was wondering where it was. You are not authorized. Please clear the area immediately. So I wonder, what makes me authorized? Have it taking joy or maybe I could also maybe Lionel has honey although that would be too easy also we don't have any money anyway I guess it would also cost hundreds of pounds like our baby feeder that we asked him to do and we can't afford I don't know am I the only one having money troubles playing as Sally I think I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. I guess this should be manageable to buy. At least it feels that way. I mean, we're not having mm, any troubles right now by feeding Gwen in time. But... Oh wait, so this is the nobody in. Okay, can we enter this? Can I buy some honey from you? Let's spend my money, shall we? Nope. Lovely day for it. Hello, Miss Boyle. Usual. Well, it seems like we've been here before. Although, I mean, as we realized with Arthur, where haven't we been? Ah, and this is her shop. I like to close doors again, as you might have realized by now. 
Whoa, what's happening here? There's a book that we can pick up? No. Hello? Mrs. Pankhurst! How have you been? Couldn't be better. I was having dizzy spells, but they've gone away. Isn't that wonderful? When things just sort of cure themselves? I've been meaning to go visit the Reform Club, but my old outfit... Uh, I seem to have filled out a bit since then, if you can believe that. Oh, remember when I made you that lovely nurse's uniform? For the Reform Club? You know, I've always wanted to visit there. Wanda's such a good friend of mine, but she never tells me what goes on there. I imagine they drink tea and discuss how to reform government and things like that. Sort of. Not exactly. Could you wangle me an invitation? I keep asking my friend Wanda and she always promises, but somehow it's always next week. I ought to be able to manage that. If you could get me an invitation, I'd be ever so thrilled. We could go together. I'll come by when you've got one. Your new outfit should be done by then. I wish I'd learned to sew. Well, I don't wish it. I'd probably have become a seamstress like Mum. Trust me, sweet lady, you would be surprised what's happening in the reform club. Also, what is Sally doing there? In a nurse's outfit. This is another side of her that we don't know. Also, Mrs. Pankhurst. I think I need to look again, but... And I know all the old ladies look the same, but isn't she the one that we dragged out of the Motelin spell as Arthur? Wasn't she also named Mrs. Pankhurst? Because this name rings a bell to me. And she taught us to sue, so... So, this is why we can buy Reform Club invitations at Lionel. You can take your joy immediately. But... I guess we don't have enough money for that. Because one was... I don't know. I don't think that it was that pricey, but... Well, maybe I can sell some more stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really expect something useful in terms of honey collecting coming our way if we get this invitation from Mrs. Pankhurst. I don't want to go to the reform club with an old sweet lady, although Miss Wanda is also an old sweet lady and I don't know, she's the headmistress of this whole institution. But I think that, I don't know, Either Mrs. Pankhurst has a very dark side, or she will be really surprised when we get there. What can I do for you today? Hi. Have you got my chemical back? Not quite yet. I had no idea you had to be so careful with chemicals. Give me another little while. Oh, that's okay. I couldn't afford it anyway. But... Lovely day for it. So, he doesn't have honey. Does he? There's so many reform club invitations. Okay, we can't even afford one at the moment. So, can we sell something? We can sell the wrench. We don't need that. We have the winning argument. We should collect weapons. So, we could... <gasps> the scotch is pricey. And we don't use that. Sell, 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 sell it all. We have money! Yeah, it's coming together. Nice. So, the coffee wasn't much, wasn't worth much, was it? Although we have five of it, so I guess we could share some. We don't drink a lot of coffee anyway. A light bulb? Nah, I don't know. Doesn't make a lot of sense to sell it. We never really use a torch either, so let's put that out too. We have some money. We can buy those invitations now. <sighs> I wish you had some 
Honey. What's this? Oh, that's the one. So... I guess we buy those letters now. Because I really need to think what I'm going to do to find those... I hope you like that. It's one of find my this favorites. stupid honey. So, I just bought two. Was this really necessary? I don't know. Because she said she wanted to go with me. Oh, whatever. Then maybe I can go in there. Although, didn't it say that I was admitted anyway? Did I just buy one on... Did I just buy one without it being necessary? Oof. Okay. Well, that's what you do when you suddenly have loads of money. Though I just keep wondering... Yeah. Yeah. It, it makes sense that Mrs. Pankhurst now has this now is in the store because we it was the same episode that we met um, Sally when we were Arthur that we also talked to um, the lady in the Motoline spill so if she really is the same one I've I really need to to rewatch the other video I want to know now oh she's so sweet I got you an invitation. Are you sure you really want to go to the reform club together? I'm not sure that nurse's uniform still fits. Oh no. Oh, I'm not much of a night owl anyway. I just hate being excluded, you know. Oh, I made your outfit for you. It's ever so slimming. I think you'll look wonderful in it. Oh, you always look wonderful. You're such a dear. What would I do without you? Come by any time you need something new to wear. It's such a joy making clothes for you. You always make me look so good. So I just received a rubber cat suit, although that doesn't really change anything for me. Oh! A padded suit. I think that's what I need. Hurt less when people and bees hit you. Does not upset decent people. Waste will, re will resent you, though. So, what else is there? A burglar suit. Makes you harder to see in the dark if you don't move. Upsets people if they do see you. Sneak thief. Steel-toed boots. Oh, no. I don't like those. Well, there are a lot of different outfits here, but... So what's this? Ultimate protection from disagreements in the village. By the miracle of Mrs. Pankhurst's sewing talent, no one will realize you're practically armored. Absorbs damage from attacks, resists infections, conforms in the village. I think I'm gonna go with the chic padded suit. This was a good idea. This was a good thing that we just, that we did the Pankhurst thing. I'm gonna buy this. Because we can afford it now. Because we're rich. No, we're not rich. So, now we have a padded suit. So, everything that's missing is a tree full of bees. I remember that there was one besides, um, besides the entrance of, of the station where we met Ollie. But... I have no idea where it is, because, although well, wasn't it here? Honey, oh yes, nice, it's marked, oh, it's marked, that's so cool, that is, oh, it's close to the witches, there's one too, okay, so we'll be good, let's go. Well, that was tedious. Oh, I need to change my clothes again. Maybe I'm gonna stay with um, the normal torn suit first until I find the honeybee nest. Oh, I don't want to go out there. So, 
Um, this is where we need to go. And then we'll already be at the witch peak. And I guess this should be it. Then we should be done, right? Right? <laughs> Although I'm very skeptic. Uh okay, that's it. So, let's put on our new suit. I think it's sad that this picture maybe doesn't change if you change clothes. I would like to. I would have loved to know how to, this looked on Arthur. <laughs> So, we now have the padded suit, and now we should be able to go to take some honey. Nice. Go away. Go away. So, will they stop? Sometime or not? I'm sorry. Oh, those are interesting gloves. You don't need to hate me for it. I just needed some honey. It's interesting. They don't come up the mountain. Maybe they're scared of the witches. So I can take this away again. Can you leave? I changed my clothes already. Thanks. Oh wait! Ah! It won't work because I didn't craft it. Okay. Now well, we- made the antidote, didn't she? Oh! In case she had second thoughts. But she didn't have second thoughts. Oh, okay. Ah, I guess we need to give them back the poison now. Well. It's another long run. Although. Huh. I'm gonna do, do it like this. Because it was close to our hideout, right? Why isn't there a waypoint anyway? Enter the space gods people's house. Oh, it's somewhere else. So where exactly is it? <laughs> it's all the way over there? Really? So I think it will be closest if I just move to here. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna make the run for it and I will see you then. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is a space god people's house. So can we enter from the fr in front? Hello? They've already started. I've got to get to the poison before they all take it. Oh no. <sighs> now I wish that I had more non-lethal stuff. Although I'm just... I'm thinking about just running through. No, no, you didn't see me. You're full of... on drugs. So, if I jump down there... Okay. So, I don't even know how to get in. I hope that there's some other way around than the front door. Do I even have something to throw? No. Just one rock. I can't even take anyone down. Hmm. We're not a bloody bread and breakfast, are we? Okay, good. I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna go and try. Oh no! Oops. Oh well. Oh no. How do I get in here anyway? Okay, okay, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Is there any other way in there? Because those front doors are barred. Everything is barred here. And this window won't open, I guess. Do 
There must be some way in through... Can I climb the wall here? No, I need to enter. Okay. Um. Oh, more honey. See, if you don't need it, you'll see plenty of it. Okay. Oh, there's a window. Okay, I see it now. But we are going to enter the space god's house in the next episode. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.